Hello friends, welcome to the English Literature Education channel on the YouTube. My name is Jaluk Mishra and today I am going to talk about different periods in the history of English literature. I will keep this video brief and I will give my opinions on different ages. First of all, I would like to start with the Anglo-Saxon period. The first in the division is Anglo-Saxon literature. However, it has to be debated that whether Anglo-Saxon is English literature or not. If you go by region, it is certainly English literature. However, if someone goes by the language, it cannot be English literature as well. So, the major features of Anglo-Saxon literature was the celebration of war, the war poetry as well as the celebration of religion. The second phase is the Norman conquest. I have nothing more to say about this phase because it was mainly to import the French trends in English literature. The third is the age of Chaucer. It was mainly marked with the realism, satirical spirit as well as courtly literature. Moreover, it was also marked with the spirit of humanism. However, this humanism was majorly religiously construed. The 15th century in the history of English literature is marked with a blank. In the opinions of many scholars, this age was not worthy and no poet was close enough to be ranked with Chaucer. And that is why this is, is generally ignored in the major books of history of English literature or a detailed analysis of why any writer was not able to produce something productive or something worthy enough. The pre-Elizabethan literature was marked with early flashes and sparks of poetry and drama. It set the grand stage for the Elizabethan drama as well as set the early trends for Elizabethan poetry. The Elizabethan literature, which is generally considered as the golden age in the history of English literature, was marked with a spirit of humanism, celebration of human life, sensual romance, and also imagination was the trademark of this literature. Yes, I have named it the Force Biblical Literature, because in this age, the only book which was supposed to be popular was the Bible. Other than that, if anything was produced, it has to be circulated in the closed groups in the form of pamphlets or manuscripts. In this literature, the Puritan spirit was supposed to be celebrated at the highest level. The restoration is in the history of English literature was more or less like a blessing in disguise. It gave the stage the freedom to explore. The stage was lit with sexual comedies while the literature was sparked with politics, controversies, and the spirit of satire. Moreover, in the Restoration Age, the biblical literature also continued. It saw the publication of the greatest of the epics, almost next to the Bible only. The Augustan literature continued the spirit of satire, which was initiated in the Restoration period. However, Sticking to the form and maintaining the norms while producing literature was a main motive in this age. Moreover, this age also saw the enunciation of the English novel. The pre-romantic literature was displaying a notable shift from region to imagination as well as to religion. This age also saw the novel getting a concrete form. This age also set the tone for the great romantic literature to come. The romantic period in the history of English literature displayed a great progress in the poetry. This age was marked with a simple motto, look inward and move ahead. In the final period of this age, the English novel emerged as a leisure fiction and it was destined to overtake poetry someday. On the Romantic literature, the French Revolution displayed a great impact. In this age, you will find that literature produced displayed a spirit of inward struggle. A continuous panic in the head as well as in the hearts was a trademark of this age of literature. Then comes the period of Victorian literature. The Victorian literature was marked with a perennial confusion and a hurry, a haste which was reflected in any literature produced in the age. In the Victorian period, the novel prospered to a concrete as well as a middle-class form of literature, while the poetry was looking for balance, a balance which it could never find. Overall, 
The literature produced in the Victorian period was marked with a strife, a strife to resolve the perennial struggle between religion and belief, and unfortunately, it could never solve that. The period of modern literature in the history of English literature was marked with a delusion and a cynicism which later developed into a disgust for human life. Literature was getting to be coarse. However, this age also saw the flourish of English drama once again at the hands of a literary giant, J.B. Shaw. After modernism comes the phase of postmodernism. Stephen with war and the delusion continued. In the postmodern period of English literature, the British could produce but not so much in numbers. While many scholars tend to divide the contemporary literature only after the 21st century, however, I have divided it 1990 to the current day because 1990 saw a great shift in the form of literature. The contemporary English literature is largely expressing personal opinions disguised in the universal tone. It is marked with a nothingness and also a confused whole. So friends, this was my division of the ages in the history of English literature. We will get deeper into each of the ages in the coming videos on this channel. Moreover, I also have a good news to say. The second part of the debate that we had this Sunday is coming very soon. And more videos will keep coming on this channel. So please watch this space. And thanks for watching. Goodbye. Take care. Okay, what is your opinion about the god of small things? I don't have any opinion about small things. Psychology of small things.